What's up guys, John here and welcome to Baltimore Retro Gaming and today I'm going to show you guys new Dreamcast games that came out over the last couple of years. And guys, sorry about the noise in the background. If you hear a bunch of jackhammers and stuff, they're doing construction outside. They're actually redoing all the roads in front of my business. Okay guys, so here's the first game, Gun Lord. Gunlord is a run and gun shooter, and it shares some elements with Metal Slug, although it is different than a lot of other Neo Geo run and guns, like Shock Trooper, Cyberlip, and Ninja Commando. So this game was made by, and I believe distributed by, the NG Dev Team. And what I've read on Wikipedia and other websites about the NG Dev Team is it's a German video game development company, and it was founded by Tim and Renee Helwig. And they're most known for having unreleased games on systems like the Neo Geo AES, the MVS, and CD-based games, mostly for the Dreamcast. So in this game, you're going to notice that a lot of the graphics are 16-bit hand-drawn graphics. And Gunlord features nine stages, and it runs at a constant 60 frames per second. Some of the weapons that you'll pick up in this game include Spread Shot, Power Shot, Bounce Blaster, Phoenix, Nuclear Wheel Bombs, Snake Beam, and Super Wave. So guys, if you like running gun shooters, if you grew up with games like Contra, you like running guns on the Neo Geo, or just overall, definitely pick this game up if you're in a Dreamcast. This game cost me right around $30, although you might have to get it online and the price might be a little bit more than that. I definitely still recommend it. It's totally worth your money. You won't regret it. Okay guys, so next up, we have Redux Dark Matters. Okay, so Redux Dark Matters is actually the result of a Kickstarter project that was started in May of 2012. Now, there have been quite a few remakes and remasters of this game, but the original Dux was made by an independent developer out of Germany called HughCast.net. Now, HughCast.net is very interesting because their cases look identical to the NG Dev Team cases. Now, I don't know if they're related or they share anything in common, but I kind of think that they do. Now, as you can tell, this game is very unique. It has very interesting and very distinctive art style. I don't know if it's hand-drawn graphics or what, but it looks beautiful. Now, this game is super colorful, and it's kind of weird because I had heard from a few others that they're not a huge fan of the art style of this game, but me personally, I happen to love it. Now, Dux has some similarities to games like Polestar and definitely R-Type, and that's that little capsule that you can kind of hold in front of your ship. Now, this one's a little bit different because it has a very interesting game mechanic where you can use that little thing in the front of your ship to collect enemy fire and kind of charge that up and use that to your advantage. And honestly, I wish games like R-Type had done that years ago because in this game, it feels really natural. And now going back and playing games like R-Type and Polestar, you know, I always feel like I want to charge up that little capsule in the front of my ship, but I can't. So, like I said, there's many different versions of Ducks out there, you know, for on the PC, they have them for the Dreamcast, you know, there's probably three or four different versions of this game. But I would say this, just grab one of them, I can't tell you which one I think is best because I haven't played through all of them, but what I will say is this, Redux Dark Matters is totally awesome, the art style is great, and like I said, if you love shooters like R-Type or if you've played games like Polestar, trust me, you're going to love this game. I think I paid, again, I think I paid about $30 for Redux Dark Matters, and if you look online, it might be around $50, but even at that price point at $50, I totally recommend this game. It is awesome, and you should definitely pick it up if you're in a Dreamcast. Okay, guys, so the last game I'm going to show you, and I definitely saved the best for last, is Fast Striker. Okay guys, so I don't know what it is about this game that I love so much. This is definitely my favorite out of the three I just showed you. I don't know if it's the fact that it's vertically scrolling shooter, the music which I also love, the graphics which I also love. I'll say I actually prefer the graphics in Fast Striker to Ducks. So yeah, it's that good. And this is another one of those games that was put out by the NG Dev Team. And I'm not too sure about the other game we talked about, but I know this one came out on the AES, the MVS, and the Dreamcast. So just overall, I think this is an amazing shooter, and it doesn't do anything new for the genre. 
You know, the graphics are pretty typical of a high-end shooter. The gameplay is pretty typical of a high-end shooter. But just overall, the package, you know, with the graphics, the music, and everything this game has to offer, I highly recommend it. This is my favorite on the system. So I paid, again, this was another $30 game, although I may have paid closer to $40. I'm not quite sure. I don't think you will be paying more than $40 or $50 for this game. But even at that price point, at that $50, don't sleep on this game. If you see it, definitely pick it up. I found this at my local retro game store. I don't know if you'll have that kind of luck, but you can definitely get it online. And you might want to do that soon if you're in a Dreamcast, because this game is awesome. Okay guys, so those are just three games that have come out for the Dreamcast over the past few years, but there have been many more. A couple of more notable that I don't own that I really, really want are Ghost Blade and Neo XYX. Both of those look like amazing shooters. Honestly, if anybody from the NG dev team is watching this, there's a game called Ryzen that was released for the AES, I'd say, three or four years ago. Like, my God, that game looks incredible. Like, it looks like if I play it, it'll be my favorite shooter ever. So please, NG dev team, release that thing on the, the Dreamcast. You know, release it on the PS4. Hell, let, let Limited Run Games get a hold of it and release it for the PS4, the Nintendo Switch, like, whatever. Like, God, I want to play that game. And real quick, I want to show you the spines on these games because, like I said, the NG dev team and HughCast.net, they, they have a lot of similarities. They're both German. Their cases look the same. I mean, look at the spines on those cases. I mean, is that the same company? You know, I don't know. You know let me know down below. I'd like to learn more about them. And before I go, guys, just a quick quiz for you. And, you know, make sure you comment down below. I took a picture of a system that I played on last night. So you tell me. Name that system. All right, let me know down below, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, peace out.